Hi there, welcome to the next video and in this video I will talk about the ARIMA methodology for doing the forecasting. So ARIMA basically stands for Autoregressive Integrated Moving Average and to do the ARIMA methodology we need to identify the AR term, the I term and MA term. So these are a bit technical and a bit outside of the scope of this topic. My, my idea is that uh, you are aware about ARIMA and you want to implement this in tab but if you want to learn as i mentioned you can go here on this this particular you know like link and here you have time series and autocorrelation which basically explains the arima the methodology for doing the forecasting for the values which are distributed over time okay so with this, let's go ahead and see it in Tableau. So here in Tableau, I'm using the inbuilt sales superstore data. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to predict the sales based on the historical uh, sales numbers. So for that, I will go into the analysis and click on the create calculated field. And let's give it a name to this calculation. So let's give predicted sales and here in the predicted sales we will start with the script underscore real and within the double quotation I will start with the library so we need to have a library for a cast to do that and if you don't have this library for a cast which generally by default comes what you can do is uh, you can simply write install dot packages and within the double quotation mention the forecast once you execute that uh, the library will be downloaded so make sure you are connected to internet and uh, you can then use it otherwise it will give you an error okay so that's about that forecast library and uh, after that we will uh, convert the first of all create the time series because arima is a time series method for doing the sales prediction or any other prediction so let's create the time object and ts is basically the function the time series where we specify the arguments to convert a time uh, normal data into a time series so we need to write the first parameter into sales which is nothing but the sum of sales so this is dot r1 and uh, then you have when this uh, series is starting so start is equals to c and i think it is starting from the gen january 2014 so but if it is not we can then change the uh, argument of this particular one and finally the frequency what is the frequency freq uenc5 frequency is equals to 12 because i think it's a monthly frequency all right so what it has is the three argument the actual series uh, when the series is starting and then the frequency okay once it is there we can then use the auto.arima method to identify the good arima model so arima underscore model is auto dot arima and specify the time this particular object we created on the sales with the start time of january 2014 saying that it's a monthly data so what so entire thing is happening over here right so what it is doing it is using the auto.arima auto.arima is basically the method in in an explanation what you can say it automatically identify the best arima method if you don't use this auto.arima you have to then manually figure it out that auto regressive parameters the ar parameter the integrated parameter and the moving average parameter which alternatively is also called the PDQ parameters, which is a bit, little bit technical, but if you are aware, then even you can plot those parameters over here also. But for the sake of simplicity, 
what I am doing is I am simply using auto.arima and letting R do most of the work to identify the best model for me and store it over here for me. All right. And now let's forecast the values. So for that, what we will write is or create is the new function which is forecasted and write forecast. And within the forecast, we will specify the arima underscore model. And then for how many period we want to forecast. So h is equals to 12. All right. So once we are there, now what we need to do is we need to append these values into the existing model. So for that, we need to do some settings because append require the three different parameters, the vector, the values to be modified or added and from where to start. So what I am right now going to do is identify the length of our existing series and dot arc one. All right, and then I will write append so that it is able to plot it properly. So in append, what I'm writing is dot arg1 and within the argument one, I need to specify the number of periods that I'm forecasting and increase by one and then specify the end period, which is up to the length. So this is my existing series, which I want to append and I want to append a forecasted dollar mean value that's where your forecasted actual values are and then from where to start so after the series so n minus 12 so here we were adding it but now we were saying that after the series which is basically this 12 period all right after that think our expression is over it's just that i need to specify the comma over here and we should be good so just to review what we have done we have imported the library forecast then we have created the time series based on this same of sales parameter to specify when the sales are starting and going and specifying it's a monthly one and by default it will identify when it is ending and specify the month for that then we are creating the arima model based on auto.arima function we are forecasting the value using the forecast method. We are specifying the model we created in the previous statement and we want, we are saying that we want to forecast for the next 12 period. Then to append the values, what we are identifying is the length of the argument one. We are specifying the total length of the argument and then uh, or the vector and then the we are appending the mean values right where, you know, the series is. Uh, ending and the forecast should start so let's click on apply and okay so what i'll do now is uh, plot the time series uh, that uh, predicted sales so what i'll take is the order date over here and predicted sales over here it should give some issues yeah and let's see the details so communicating the r serve it's any or any n argument okay um, it may be because uh, we are using only up till the values of 2017 and we have to use the shifted date uh, because we are creating new period. So I will just remove that so that it is not giving me the problem. And uh, just one thing before the predicted sales is that uh, we need to convert in from year to month I just noticed. So here is my month. And let me just plot it again and let me see if it is giving the issue. Yeah. So it is expecting the 48 values, but so many values were written 18139. Okay. So let's see this, how we will going to get the shifted dates. So for that, what I'll do is uh, I will create a calculated field. I will use shifted date function and i will use date add so what it uh, it has three parameters the date part the interval and the date so what we want is we want to add month and uh, we want to add the interval which is nothing but the period number of period that we are forecasting and then finally the date which is nothing but 
the order date okay and click apply and okay all right i will just remove this and i will going to use the shifted date so let me just put it over here um i want month and uh, what i want is the predicted sales see so it's saying that again unexpected number of results returned by so we are expecting 48 but a lot of values or so something you know we are missing over there so let me just see show details so also showing the same thing so here i am into edit and script real library forecast time ts dot org one start yeah this is fine dot arima time is fine we are saying arima model comma is there and length dot arg one is there and then we are appending dot arg one twelve one plus two and all right so yeah here is an issue um so what i want is first of all it should be one statement because we are specifying the length of the entire uh, vector for the up requirement of the append and then closing it over here let's see if it works now should work now and okay all right now we have the sales for the next until the december 2018 right so this is basically i think uh november december so this should be the sales uh, actual sales and from here it should be the predicted sales but for the user you it should be intuitive enough so what we can do is we can create one function which will segregate this two uh, series what is actual and what is predicted so what i will do is go into analysis create calculated field and what i'll say actual versus predicted and what i'll write is a simple function if you know the tab view it should be pretty straightforward index is uh, less than the size minus the period that we are specifying then it should be actual that means values which are prior to the um, prior to the forecast so size minus 12 is basically indicating uh, reducing the uh, uh, the forecast values all right else forecast and and think should not be in my shoes click ok and i should have somewhere here actual versus predicted put it on the color and let's see it in action all right so here is my forecast and here is my actual value so that's that's how very easily you can uh, you can utilize the arima methodology to do the prediction the next thing which you can very easily do is uh, with the help of the parameter so let me just go into this calculation with the help of the parameters if uh, in tableau you can basically automate this part 12 so as you can see that we are wherever we are forecasting we are specifying 12 but let's say uh, you want to do it on the fly so coming back to the calculation and changing it does not make a lot of sense what you you can what you can do is you can simply use the parameters and make it dynamic so i'm leaving that up to you how you can make it dynamic but if you find issue you know where to find me always do a comment and i will reply to you but it should be pretty straightforward uh, if you are using tableau and have used the parameters so wherever the value of forecast is here 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 as well as uh, in actual versus predicted here that value will come so i hope you will be able to do that but if you find any issue please do a comment